Hello again YouTube, it's Mr Analytical here <clears throat> and I just wanted to today briefly talk about the Samsung Gear S3 as a watch so there's loads of talk about all the things the watch can and can't do but I just wanted to have a quick look at how the watch functions as a watch so you can see here I have one of the original watch faces on and that's always on display that you can see there so you can see the second hand and all still moving so it shows the date and everything when I touch the screen then it lights up and you can see something really cool there see when I tip the watch you can see the, the stainless steel effect on the screen rotate as if the light's shining on it and that's just using the internal accelerometer to tell that so just to show you a few things that you would typically look for in a normal watch so first thing is 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 the actual physical aspects of it so it's comfortable you can wear it all day and I do wear it all day and you can wear it all night so what I do at night I keep it in four knot four knot fourth notch all day and then move it to the fifth notch at night so that if my arm swells up a bit at night that it's still comfortable so I do wear it all night another thing you need on a watch is an alarm clock so you can see here you can just press this little alarm symbol and it turns on your alarm and then you can set the time you just press on the time move the hours to whatever time you want to get up so I'm usually getting up at five something so and then the number of minutes so that's set it for 550 and then you can have that for what which days you'd like it to come on so for example let's take a Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday mornings and we'll change, do a different alarm for Saturday and Sunday for example. Now here you can have no sound so if you're in a room with someone else and you don't want to disturb them you just keep sound off and if your sound is on at the moment say your sound is on digital beep you just move that, move that to mute and that puts vibrate only on so that will be vibration only and you just hit save and it tells you how far away your alarm is set for so I'm just going to turn down the brightness here, sorry guys, slightly because you can't actually see the true colours in the video. So I'll just put it down to say, I'll try three. So uh, back to the alarm we were setting there. So we've got this alarm for 5.50. So set the time, yes, set that time, yeah. Okay, so I'll just delete that again because I want to show you add alarm 5 and uh, next whichever day you want you can see better now the colour changing there Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday Thursday and Friday not a very good shot through the camera here and uh, next and I've explained to you how to turn the sound off go in there turn that to mute press back hit save and then that's your alarm set so on a normal watch it's quite hard sometimes to set multiple multiple alarms so you can just you can have as many alarms as you want here you can just have add another alarm for say Saturday mornings say let's go for a sleep in on Saturday mornings go to nine o'clock and just set that on Saturday and Sunday and hit next and you can have signed on for example see if so now it's set for two days away so that lets you have multiple alarms so you can just see here, I got a little notification. So if you scroll to the right, it tells you, you know, when a, when a notification comes up. So that's really handy as well. But back to the watch features. So other watch features uh, you have. Let's show you this one. So this is a stopwatch. So every good watch has a stopwatch, of course. You just tap in the middle of the screen, and off you go. And there's your time ticking round at the top. 5 seconds, 10 seconds and so on and you can press lap and that keeps a record of the number of laps you're at so that's one lap say we do another lap in 10 seconds we press lap again you just keep a track of your laps so that's really useful another lap so these are fast laps so then you can just hit stop and you can either resume or reset so we can resume and go ahead or we can stop and reset and we're back to zero so really handy as a stopwatch it's really easy 
just to get into. A lot of my old watches would have been G-Shocks and you're pressing all these buttons and you're trying to reset and you're trying to start, you're trying to stop, but this is really handy. Just say start on the screen, you press it, off you go, press stop, reset and so on. So that's really, really handy. So just to go back and show you another one is the timer. So the timer is really a countdown. So for example, yeah, my dinner is going to be ready in say 10 minutes. So we can set this for 10 minutes. So I'll just set it for two minutes and then we'll see how it performs when it goes off. So just start and you've got a countdown timer running. And you'll see at the top, this is the duration around the clock face and as that approaches zero, then it will the alarm will go off. So you can go back out of that. Uh, else, other things on the on a watch you look for is a calendar. So you can hit this your calendar, and boom, you're in the calendar. Now I don't think there's many watches that are digital watches that would have all this functionality. Uh, you can go into any day, and it'll show you what events there is. For example, New Year's Day coming up, New Year's Day holiday. So you've got all that calendar functionality, which is really good and you can set uh, reminders on your watch also so if you wanted to see by the way how that timer was going I've set my home button you can double press and that brings up your recent apps so we can go and see we can see now 59 seconds left and we can go back and back out of that so yeah I was going to show you reminders so uh, um, as well as setting alarms you can set reminders which is really good so, for example, their reminder to buy some apples, keep up the healthy eating. So you can just hit, you can press there. Oh, sorry. You can tick that, and that'll put a line through the apples task, and you'll see that you can actually tick them all off. If you go into, <coughs> if you actually go into reminders, sorry, back. You can see that all the different tasks as I stroke them off, you can actually go back into the history and see what you've completed for the day or for the week. And so you can create a new app, a new reminder, sorry. So I've talked too much here. <laughs> so there's time up. That's our timer going off. So my watch is vibrating, you won't be able to hear that. I'd mentioned to someone else I keep my watch on vibrate. So you press on the X and slide it across your screen and that's it cancelled. So sorry I was going to set a new reminder so back to this. Buy apples. So you can see there buy apples. Just hit done and then you set the time. Set the time for 25 to 4 and that's for tomorrow so this works in the next 24 hours and see of that there. So now you've got by a bedside by apples so really as a watch it's a really great job you can obviously do a lot more on this than a normal watch but I just wanted to show you guys if you're if you're looking for a real solid watch and then the additional functionality of all the other apps that you can pick up then this is the watch to go for so obviously all sorts on here that you can do as well but just as a watch it's really good so I think that's really all the things I've covered so timer, stopwatch, uh, reminders, calendar I think that's really all you're going to get on a normal watch so just to really show you that and obviously you can, you're can, you never going to get bored with this one because you can just change the, the watch face as much as you like just press and hold on it, pick another one so I don't think you're going to get bored with it too quick in that respect in terms of keeping it clean you can see here the green from me swiping about it gets a little greasy and that's not a problem you just get a bit of like kitchen tile and give it a little rub and it comes up really clean so that's not an issue and if you're showering with it you just keep the watch on when you're showering and that degreases it and you'll see in the sides here it gets a little you know greasy or dirty in there after a few days now I, I haven't cleaned in there at all yet so to do that just turn it over and there's a little pin here so if you pull that little pin over you can just easily remove the watch strap and that exposes that side that I was showing you the little greasiness 
and again just a bit of kitchen tile or dry cloth and you can give it a wipe and it's just sparkling and it's really easy then just to clip your strap back in so you just put the long pin in first and turn it over pull in the little the other pin so it's flush and put your strap back in oh sorry snap it back in place <clears throat> it's really easy and it's hard to do to uh, <laughs> to perform for the camera here so pull that pin in give it a little wiggle and that's it snapped in place and so you just give as I say giving the watch a quick wipe takes all the greasiness off and leaves it nice and shiny and you'll notice there that whenever I have the watch off my wrist that it automatically detects that it's off my wrist so you'll see it it would have flashed there but we probably have missed it but once it knows it's not on our wrist it'll turn off so you can see there it's it's turning off and turned off now because I've always on set whenever I put it back on my wrist and waken it by turning my wrist you'll see it will never go off now so in 15 seconds the screen should change slightly because it's going to always on. So there you go. But it stays on. And if if you have, uh, I know someone who said they had tattoos. So if you hold the watch up off your wrist or if you have tattoos, you might find that the face, the watch face goes off. So I'm just seeing if I can trick it here. I'll probably have to take it completely off. Let's take it completely off and stop using it you'll find it'll go off again. So that's really just a quick video just to chat to you guys about how it functions as a watch and I'm really happy with it as a watch and for its other functions. So you can see it's went off again there. So thanks for watching and I'll be posting more videos soon. So stay tuned and as usual guys keep commenting. Uh, it's really helpful I'm sure for all the other my other subscribers so they can see your questions also and that means that we're forming a little bit of a community here and we can get to know the watch really well so thanks for that and of course like and subscribe if you haven't already thank you